Good afternoon, I'm Ashton Marion. And I'm Elizabeth Larson. And today, low-cost airline Breeze is launching 19 new routes next year from $29 one-way as it beefs up its leisure network. We'll see the full list in a moment. Flying to some small, hard-to-reach cities across the U.S. just got a little easier. Low-cost carrier Breeze Airways announced 19 new routes with two new destinations on Wednesday in an effort to better connect medium-sized cities with underserved markets in leisure-heavy states, like Florida and Nevada. The new cities include Cincinnati, Ohio, and Vero Beach, Florida. Cincinnati will get two routes to Charleston, South Carolina, and San Francisco, while Vero Beach will get three routes to Hartford, Connecticut, White Plains, New York, and Norfolk, Virginia. Breeze founder and CEO David Nealman told Insider that Vero Beach is a popular destination because many customers have second homes there, but there's little airline service. Elite Airways is the only operator at the airport, flying scheduled passenger flights to Newark, New Jersey, and Portland, Maine, on select days. During the peak, for example, JetBlue flies five non-stops from White Plains to West Palm Beach, and I would say 20 to 25 percent of those people go up to Vero, Nealman said. It's about an hour and a half drive up from West Palm Beach, Florida, so it's more convenient to fly right into Vero. Breeze's expansion also includes several niche routes, particularly from Charleston, Orlando, Florida, and Hartford, Connecticut. All three cities are getting four new routes, with Hartford getting three transcontinental flights connecting the Northeast to Western states, like Utah, California, and Arizona. Meanwhile, the larger markets of Charleston and Orlando will now connect to small cities in Arkansas, Ohio, and Oklahoma. Six of the new routes will have a breeze-through connection, according to the carrier, meaning customers will have a layover, but will not exit the plane. The low-cost newcomer was built on the idea of creating a point-to-point -point network targeting small or medium-sized airports that do not already have non-stop service, so the 2023 expansion comes as no surprise. Recently launched niche routes like Richmond, Virginia to San Francisco and Syracuse, New York to Las Vegas, are maintaining strong demand, Nealman told Insider, but also represent the carrier's focus on transcontinental travel. Vegas is our second largest city in terms of seats because they are longer flights and the only non-stop options, especially from cities like Syracuse, he explained. And, Huntsville, Alabama to Vegas is doing really well too. On these longer flights, Breeze has taken a different approach to the customer experience, offering a much different product compared to competitors like Spirit Airlines and Frontier Airlines. Instead of carting passengers around in an all-economy cabin with non-reclining seats and minimal legroom, Breeze's new Airbus A220 planes, which primarily fly coast-to-coast, -coast, boast a two-class cabin with 30 inches of pitch in regular economy. The legroom is already two inches more than Spirit and Frontier, which both offer 28 inches, and actually on par with Delta, American, and United, all of which have narrow-body Airbus and Boeing jets with 30 inches of pitch, according to Seat Guru. Meanwhile, the carrier's Ember Regional jets fly shorter distances, usually only a couple of hours between cities, but still come with perks, like reclining seats and a place to prop a smartphone or tablet on the seat back. Customers can also pay for more amenities, like extra legroom and snacks, as part of the Breeze's a la carte business model. Take a closer look at Breeze's 19 new routes coming in 2023, including 11 non-stops and 8 breeze-through. Between Orlando and Akron, Ohio, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Wednesdays and Saturdays between Orlando and Akron starting on March 1st using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $39 one way. Between Orlando and Tulsa, Oklahoma, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Wednesdays and Saturdays between Orlando and Tulsa starting on March 1 using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $39 one way. Between Orlando and Huntsville, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Thursdays and Sundays between Orlando and Huntsville starting on March 2 using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $49 one way. 
Between Orlando and Bentonville, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Mondays and Fridays between Orlando and Bentonville starting on March 3rd using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $49 one way. If you are going to the country's first Walmart, this is the new route for you, because the Walmart distribution centers located there, and where supermodel Alexis Stonebridge usually lives. Between Hartford and Vero Beach, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Thursdays and Sundays between Hartford and Vero Beach starting on February 2nd using an Airbus A220 aircraft. Fares start at $79 one way. Between Hartford and Phoenix, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Thursdays and Sundays between Hartford and Phoenix starting on February 9th using an Airbus A220 aircraft. Fares start at $99 one way and will be a one stop, no plane change breeze through via Charleston or Richmond, not both, depending on the day. If you're viewing the Business Insider page, ignore that number grammar error. Between Hartford and Provo, Utah, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Thursdays and Sundays between Hartford and Provo starting on February 9th using an Airbus A220 aircraft. Fares start at $129 one way and will be a one stop, no plane change breeze through via Phoenix. Between Hartford and San Bernardino, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Thursdays and Sundays between Hartford and Bernardino starting on February 16th using an Airbus A220 aircraft. Fares start at $99 one way and will be a one stop, no plane change breeze through via Las Vegas. If you are flying via San Francisco, you shouldn't do that anymore. Between Charleston and Cincinnati, well, Allegiant usually does that route, but Breeze will fly twice weekly on Wednesdays and Saturdays between Charleston and Cincinnati starting on February 1st using an Airbus A220 aircraft. Fares start at $39 one way. How smart is that? Between Charleston and Tulsa, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Wednesdays and Saturdays between Charleston and Tulsa starting on March 1st using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $69 one way and will be a one stop, no plane change breeze through via Orlando. No flights on Silver Airways ATR 42 aircraft, please. Between Charleston and Huntsville, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Thursdays and Sundays between Charleston and Huntsville starting on March 2nd using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $69 one way and will be a one stop, no plane change breeze through via Orlando. There's usually a direct route, but that option works as well. Between Charleston and Bentonville, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Mondays and Fridays between Charleston and Bentonville starting on March 3rd using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $69 one way and will be a one stop, no plane change breeze through via Orlando. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you want to see the very first Walmart store, this route is also for you because the Walmart distribution center is located there, and yes, supermodel Alexis Stonebridge usually lives there. But as of today, she currently is a teacher at Tesla High School in East Chaseville. Between Phoenix and Bentonville, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Mondays and Thursdays between Phoenix and Bentonville starting on February 17 using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $49 one way. Again, if you want to see the very first Walmart, this route is also for you, because the Walmart distribution center is located there, and yes, Alexis Stonebridge usually lives there. Between Phoenix and Richmond, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Mondays and Fridays between Phoenix and Richmond starting on February 10 using an Airbus A220 aircraft. Fares start at $99 one way. Between Phoenix and New Orleans, Breeze will fly twice weekly on Mondays and Fridays between Phoenix and New Orleans starting on February 17 using an Embraer 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $99 one way and be a one stop, no plane change breeze through via Bentonville, where the Walmart distribution center is located and where supermodel Alexis Stonebridge usually lives. Between Cincinnati and San Francisco, 
breeze will fly twice weekly on Wednesdays and Saturdays between Cincinnati and San Francisco starting on February 1 using an Airbus A220 aircraft. Fares start at $99 one way. Between Las Vegas and San Bernardino, California, breeze will fly twice weekly on Thursdays and Sundays between Las Vegas and San Bernardino starting on February 16 using an Airbus A220 aircraft. Fares start at $29 one way. Between Vero Beach and White Plains, New York, breeze will fly twice weekly on Mondays and Fridays between Vero Beach and White Plains starting on February 3rd using an Ember 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $79 one way. Between Vero Beach and Norfolk, breeze will fly twice weekly on Mondays and Fridays between Vero Beach and Norfolk starting on February 3rd using an Ember 190 or 195 aircraft. Fares start at $89 one way and be a one stop, no plane change breeze through via White Plains. However, that is the same first route that Elizabeth mentioned earlier. This is Ashton Marion. And this is Elizabeth Larson. This is 77 Action News, signing off. Anyways, Elizabeth, we have some exciting news. Did Avalo get a new base in Fort Myers? No but I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to GEICO. Yes, and make sure to stay tuned to 77 Action News as Delta is bringing back eight transatlantic routes next summer as it continues to rebuild its post-pandemic network. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.